Hello everybody. Welcome to West Game Tips and Tricks. This is Mickey Freeman. And today we're going to talk about core crafting and forging core equipment. We're already in the blacksmith here. So the first thing I want to do is I want you to look at the ingredients and combine. Now, the important thing to know about crafting core equipment is it's a one-shot deal. Unlike normal gear, where you combine the lowest quality, craft it, and then have to repeat the process until you get increasingly better quality gear, with the core equipment, you simply combine all your parts and pieces in advance, and you craft at the highest quality possible to begin with. Now, there are several different factors which can change the quality of the gear you are able to craft. Some of these are your research, and others are based upon the amount of materials you have gathered. Now, when we click here on ingredients and combine, what you see is there are three sections over here. You have your materials, you have your part, and you have your core. This one right here, your part, is the different materials that you use to put into your recipe to make the core item. And this one here, core, is the actual item itself okay the way a core is crafted a piece of core gear is crafted is you use a core item and combine parts inside the item in order to craft the complete set so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by combining all of these different pieces because I want them to be the highest quality possible at least level 5 quality and I'm going to pause this for a moment while I continue to do this okay so I have combined all of my parts now I want you to see here that each of these have different stats okay we'll start here with the paper precision the very first piece at level 1 quality and you see that over here to the right, it has the stats that this particular part will add, okay? Now, those percentages don't seem like much. But as you go up and click on different levels, you will see the percentages begin to increase, okay? You see the difference here? As I change the, the quality of the item, the percentages change on the right-hand side over here. Now, in cores, you'll see the same thing. And you will combine all of your items up to the highest quality possible in order to craft the best quality one shot. Now, I don't want you to go and combine all of this stuff in advance without knowing you can craft the quality of the item. So how do you know if you can craft the quality of this item? You go right over here to your academy and you click research. And you go into your equipment forge. And scroll down and you see here fourth part slot unlock here fifth part slot unlock and here sixth part slot unlock what these are are how many different parts you can place into your core recipe to craft the core item now you also want to make certain that you are able to craft the quality of gear. Okay? And back here, you see Core Forging Epic. 
here is rare, here is special, here is fine, and there is uncommon. You can only craft a quality of gear that you have researched. While we are here in this tree, I want to answer a question that many people have asked. They want to know how do you unlock the fourth gem slot in your gear. Here in the core research tree, you see fourth crystal slot for core helmet, armor, boots, and weapon. This is how you unlock the fourth slot in your core items. In order to unlock the fourth slot for gems in your regular gear, it requires this research back here. These researches here allow you to put core items, I mean, I'm sorry, gems in your normal helmet, normal boots, normal armor, normal weapon, and here at the very end, you can unlock the fourth gem slot for your accessories. So anyways, now that we see that I have the ability to do epic core crafting, You also want to make sure that you are crafting not only the best quality, but the best enhancements available. And that is how this right here comes into play. Let me find it for you. Core duration. This one right here determines how long your core will last. This one reduces the amount of silver it costs to forge your cores. And this one reduces the time to craft your cores. Here we have core gear rate 1. And this is core gear rate 2. Further down. Right here at the bottom. Okay. So... You want to make certain that you've got enough of your core research done prior to getting into cores to make certain that you're not wasting these items because they're hard to gather from killing minions and they're expensive to buy in the gold store. So, I'm going to go back to my blacksmith now and I'm going to go into my forge. We're going to look at ingredients and combine and look at our core parts. You see that I do have a couple gold pieces, a couple purple pieces. And each of these are the actual items that you wear. Your hat, your boots, your weapon, your accessories, etc. Okay? So, let's go back. And now we're going to click up here on core equipment because this is what we want to craft. Okay? Now you see here... Just as with regular items, it starts you off at the lowest quality and gives you the option to forge right here, okay? And right here on each of these. You can switch over to Sniper King or Nomad and look at these as well. But instead of crafting the lowest quality first, you can change your quality selector here and go up the ladder like this. And now you see the stats on this are much different. This is the actual I the core item itself. You go back over here to ingredients and combine and click on core. And you can see the same stats that we was looking at on the parts earlier. For the individual piece. But when you go over to the forge. 
to actually craft it, you see, I'm going to use Sniper King here. You see right here the possible stats available after crafting. Okay? So let's go down to purple quality here. And you see that the only one that I can craft in epic level quality will be the Sniper King's Skull Mask. If I go down to blue quality, you see that I have the ability to do each of these except for the jacket. We're going to look at Pioneer, which is infantry, and do the same. And you see that I'm able to craft gold Pioneer core gear. So let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to start by clicking on the pendant. Well, no necessarily the pendant. We'll look at these different stats. We'll see the infantry attack is 38.8 to 55.4 for the pendant. The revolver is 43.8 to 62.6. You look at each of these stats and say, okay, well, let's start with our revolver. I'm going to click forge. Now, once you get into the forge, it's going to go in here and it's going to place the item here and here, just as in your regular forging. What you want to do next is click on one of these plus signs. And when you do that, it's going to take you into this inventory tab and show you the different items, the different parts that you can put into your core recipe. What you do here is we can only put five parts in here because we only have fifth part unlocked, researched. In order to put the last piece in, it will have to have researched sixth part unlocked. So let's click on the plus again and I'm going to click on this one here first and you see over here to the right it's going to give me a stats bonus of 17.2 to 24 percent that is based upon the level of um, research that you have for the quality as I showed you in the other one the higher you have the research for quality of the gear done, the higher it will be in this area here. Okay? So we see this one is 17 to 24%. I'm going to hit the X here and take this one away. Let's look at this one. 16.9 to 24. This one, the nails, is 16 to 23. This one is 15 to 22. This one is 14 and a half to 20. And this one is 14 to 20. Now, when you're crafting your gear, your, your gear items, you can stack these pieces and add multiple of the same one in. So let's say, for example, we have this right here. And then you want to go to the next slot. We'll put one here. We'll go to the next slot and put one here and so forth. But what if I like the stat that the nails offer? And I want to add an additional one. Can I do that? No. It changes it out. Do you see how that works? But. You are not limited. To only putting. The ones in here that are, are preset. Um, I don't uh kind of give me a second here um you want to use your stats to determine which pieces you want to put in is what i'm saying so looking at all of these i see that this one here has a high part a high percentage okay i see that this one here had a high percentage as you add these in you see 
here and here, the percentages are changing. Okay? The brass button of Valor gives 6.8 to 9% at gold quality. But if I take that out and I click on the nails, you see it's 6 to 8.6. Okay? If I click the yarn, it's 5 to 7.7. .7. So the idea is to use the items that you can use with the highest statistics addition to craft your set as high as possible. In this instance, the one I will not be placing in here is going to be my yarn because it has the lowest stat, 5.4 to 7.7. .7. Instead, I will use my nails and use these other ones in combination. Okay? Then I'm going to click OK, and it's going to bring me here and show what is going to be crafted. It shows the original duration here, as well as the boosted duration with the research and the stats that this one piece will have. Okay? And then you simply click Forge. Once you click Forge, it will begin crafting the item if you have the required amount of silver in there okay I'm going to forge this and I'm going to speed it up I'm not even going to wait on everybody to hit help because they're pretty good at hitting help really fast here And it has been crafted at 49.5% infantry attack, 4.9% infantry defense, and 5.1% infantry life. Okay, now, let's go back over here and I want to show you something different. I'm going to click on the Nomad Sat. Nope, I don't have any Nomad at all. So I'm going to click on Sniper King here. Okay, now... I want you to see that in the Sniper King set, I'm able to craft this Skull Mask here, okay? But I only have an epic quality Skull Mask. What you can do though, and I'm going to go back down one quality for the tutorial purpose. I'm going to go here with a blue set, with a blue core part. And I want you to see that what you can actually do here is even though you have a blue core selected, you can use purple or epic quality parts in your gear. So what you have here is a blue skull mask with five pieces that are epic quality. When you use this gear, the people selecting on your sheriff to look at your gear will see blue pe will see blue gear items but you can use these purple items to gain additional stats that the blue ones don't offer for example we look here at the resin of precision and you see that it gives a range defense of 0.4 to 0.6% at blue quality but at purple quality, it's 0.5 to 0.8% range defense. It's on attack, the blue quality is 3.4 to 4.9. And on the attack, it's 4.3 to 6.1. So it's in your advantage to craft, to combine these items up as high as possible so that even if you're not able to craft this level item here, but you can craft a lower quality item. You can use higher quality ingredients to increase the overall quality and stats. Okay?